What is up, Zero Game? My name is Kyle Zero Vlogs, and today we're going to be reviewing and making a reaction to the guy getting attacked on the uh, Uber ride. Now, I heard a little bit about this, and I know I'm a little late, but it's, I've been busy, all right? I know that's my excuse, but I'm, keep, I'm that's my story. I'm sticking with it. But, um, so this guy is doing an Uber drive, and uh, from my understanding, there's three ladies, and one lady actually takes things physical because I guess she don't want to get dropped off to a certain spot. Um, I have not seen the video at all. I'm just kind of going by speculation. Then she ends up attacking the guy. So we're going to be going over the video together. I'm going to kind of analyze what the guy did wrong, what the guy did right, what she did wrong, what she did right, and what her little instigator friends are doing as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. It helps the video get out there in the algorithm in this uh, jungle that we call YouTube. So let's watch this together and uh, figure out what's really going on here, guys. All right, guys, so this is the most detailed video that I can find. We're going to watch it together and kind of analyze exactly that this could have been avoided, how it escalated, and really figure out what's going on here. Uh, for some reason, I can't find the original video. Every single time I find the original video without any editing, someone puts their stupid name in it. So, yeah, we don't get we don't do free promotion here. So let's check this out and figure out what's, what's really going on, guys. Here are not one, not two, but three Karens. I got corona. Yeah, what's up? Oh, she's yelling. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Intentionally coughing, mask down. Wow. And one rider grabbing the driver's phone. So one thing I want to talk about is to see the the arrogance behind uh, women that they know that if you touch them, even if they're in the wrong, that they know the man can't do. Well, legally, can't do anything about it. Um, she even said, what you're going to do? She took the guy's phone. The guy was pretty chill from what I could see. He wasn't really doing anything. Uh, yeah, so much as being a, a terrible human being, honestly. Uh, it just shows. I know I made my video about National Women's Day, so make sure you guys check that video out. But this is kind of the type of stuff that I'm talking about. Uh, how the double standards for women makes them, well, douchebags it makes them unpleasant individuals and you know a lot of women wonder why no man wants to marry them because the majority of women act like this and I'm, not, I'm not saying all i'm not saying all i'm not judging all women i'm just simply saying there's a lot of women with this type of mindset and i think uh <laughs> it just kind of messes it up for the big bunch but let's get back into the video but he get beat up the woman on the right assaults the Uber driver by tearing off up? his mask again oh, no, in the said? middle of a pandemic. Oh no, I don't care what yeah, talking about. Thing, I don't down, care what about. And one rider grabbing about. the driver's phone. This chick's going to get beat up. The woman on the right up, assaults the Uber driver. Hold up. She said, now you're about to get beat up. Like, he could probably take all three of those chicks. He could probably beat up all three of those chicks. And this was the arrogance behind these females, man. And this is what I'm talking about. These are exact females that I'm talking about. These are the type of females that would try to get pregnant by a celebrity to have his baby. This is the type of female that will lock a dude up, um, you know, have a baby intentionally, and just to have the kid. This, let's just put it this way. These are the type of women that well, have a kid with a, with a normal guy, and out of spite, make sure the dad can't see the kid, but the dad has to pay uh, child support. You know, this is the type of chick that will get married just to steal all your money. You know, these, these are the type of females I'm talking about. This is like one-on-one -on -one exactly the type of females that I'm talking about with the double standards in my last video about National Women's Day. This is this is absurd, dude. I wouldn't have this type of patience. They say I'm about to get beat up. Well. <laughs> They about to get beat up. All right, you guys can say how you want, but when a person put their hands on you and they start taking your possessions, it's, it's it, it doesn't matter about a man or a woman or not. It's about defense. And there's not only three women, but three very aggressive women. Um, I don't know how he kept his cool. I'm glad he did keep his cool, but I would have went to jail that day. Tearing off his mask again in the middle of a pandemic. You, you don't touch my property. You don't buy it. You don't buy it. They continue yelling, 
at one another. Yeah, I can see that, but I wouldn't. I think this guy's talking so much. This is why you need a dash cam. And as I'm watching this, all I can think of is Uber and Lyft drivers really deserve better. My boyfriend taught me, he taught me, don't let nobody play with you, smack the f out them. That's what <laughs> I was taught. Hold In up. her defense video, she doesn't... Hold well, up, so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> One thing I'm going to talk about is that she's not talking about her parents taught her, she's talking about her boyfriend taught her. Her boyfriend is, is, is like a father figure to her. That's a very weird relationship there. My boyfriend taught me. Obviously, you we we must have been raised by wolves or something like that. I'm not gonna insult the wolves, okay? She must have been, been raised by like beavers or something like that. Because I don't think wolves even treat each other that way, you know? Like, wh what is she talking about? My boyfriend taught me. What? That's all messed up. That is all messed up. Um, this chick, this chick is nuts, man. Uh, like I said, I. I don't know how that man had the patience for this dude. Let's hear that one more time. She said my I think she said my boyfriend taught me. Like she has no father, obviously. Are you stupid? And as I'm watching this, all I can think of is Uber and Lyft drivers really deserve better. My boyfriend taught me. He taught me, don't let nobody play with you. Smack the f out them. That's what I was taught. In her defense video, she doesn't well, defend herself quite well at all. And he lucky as hell I ain't have nothing on me on mamas because if he would have played with me, bruh, it would have been a whole different story. <laughs> this is the what? best defense you concocted, hold like, up, hold up, for hold real? Up, hold up. So she's saying, she's saying, like, like I said, guys, don't mind what the guy's talking about. So she is simply saying that he's lucky that even though the guy didn't attack first, he wasn't being disrespectful, he's lucky she didn't have nothing on him, so she's like incriminating herself because not only does she attack the man right but she's admitting that if she had anything she would have done more than what she already done like this is the type of stuff that i'm talking about like like i can't man i i can't and i know you guys know you know i do live here and there and stuff like that but if someone does this to me i'm telling you guys i'm going to be in jail i don't care if it's a dog a cat a snake a polar bear a human a female a man transgender whatever it is i don't care you disrespect me right i don't care about words but you put your hands on me or you touch my stuff it's done for you i'm sorry it is done for you like i said i'm glad this guy didn't handle it well because it would have been in her favor she would have probably got away with it but i personally wouldn't be able to deal with it they about to get <laughs> they about to get cj beatdowns and people that uh know me personally knows exactly what a cj beatdown i didn't say a bj beatdown i said a cj beatdown so get your mind out the gutter 75% of people I know would have smacked the shit out of him or done some crazy ass off the wall. All I did was smack, take his mask off and cough a little bit, but I ain't <laughs> even have corona. This stupid ass Uber, bruh. Oh, mamas. That's why I take Lyft. In fairness, Lyft should probably suspend her account now as well if this is how she treats people trying to make a buck by lugging her around town. I'm finna sue Uber for it. They seen the whole video, so they know. So hold up, hold up. So <laughs> this is probably just like likes Lyft more because <laughs> Lyft doesn't value their drivers. I guess I'm saying that on the record. Like Lyft straight up doesn't value their drivers, man. Lyft is yeah, that's why I don't really do Lyft. But uh, yeah, Lyft does not value their drivers whatsoever, man. Lyft is pretty bad. Uh, they usually take the passenger side all the time. That's why, like I said, I. Do lift here and there, but I don't really do it anymore. But uh, that's really hilarious, man. This chick is saying, "Oh, mamas," you can just type, tell her type of demeanor that she has. She's a very ghetto, low quality female. She's one of the type of females that you see, you bust your nut in, you never talk to her again. Even then, she probably has like she probably have chlamydia. Uh, she's too unattractive to really be uh, acting the way that she is. But remember, you know, National Women's Day are dedicated to women like her. National Women's Day was dedicated to actual real women. I'll be totally fine with it, but it includes women like her. And that is one of the biggest problems to me because this chick does not act like a lady. She does not uh, represent herself like a lady. She's not classy at all. She's just a gutter man acting female. You know, she, she acts very masculine. That's toxic masculinity. If you want to talk about toxic, toxic masculinity, this is the exact example of it. What is the difference? She's very violent, arrogant, 
uh, has to be her way, the stuff that a lot of these feminists talk about, men, most women do it. This is the exact example that I'm talking about when it comes to how these females act, they, they feel like they're invincible because they know if a man puts their hands on them or a man does anything physical, even if he's in the right, he will probably go to jail. The worst part is about this, this female probably won't even go to jail. But let's watch the rest of the video because this covers the whole aspect from the driver's point, from her point, and the aftermath. Hey, dead ass wrong, so where am I check at? Well, I wish her luck because the evidence is flat out damned it. Dion Lim, a reporter for ABC7 in San Francisco, California, wrote, Update, an Uber spokesperson sent me this statement. The behavior seen in the video is appalling. The rider no longer has access to Uber. That's good. The entire city is now reporting on this heinous crime that took place. So, hey, they wanted to be famous, and now they are. CBS San Francisco, also on the beat. The reason they were stopped was because the driver said he had pulled over to tell the woman to wear face masks and the drivers heard telling the woman to get out. So one of the things I want you guys to know, people that don't use any ride shares, um, now I know the face mask is not the law. Um, and you know, I know people have different opinions about the face mask, but for Uber specifically, you do need a face mask to ride it. In fact, it tells you in the app uh, passengers that they have to have a face mask on before they actually order the ride. I think they have to take a picture with a face mask on too, I'm not entirely sure. I know Uber, the driver has to take a picture of himself with a face mask on, but as for the passenger, I'm not sure, but I know it does notify them that they must have a face mask. Um, so the driver is 100% right, if people are saying like, oh, the driver, you know, oh, he can't demand people to wear a face mask. Not only is inside his car his private business, so he can demand whatever he wants, like any other business, because he's an independent contractor, but it's Uber's policy that you must have a face mask on. So this guy was 100% in the right when it comes to the face mask. So far, I don't think the guy did anything wrong. Um, like I said, he handled it better than I than I would have, honestly. I would have went to jail that day. So shout outs to this dude, like, truly shout outs to this dude. I don't know how he kept his patience. With three females saying, "What are you gonna do?" and "Oh, you about to get you about to get your ass beat," and all this other stuff. That's what men do. That's what that's what hood street men do in the streets to like women, supposedly, right? You know, it's just uh, I don't want I don't want to go on and on. Uh, I'm doing a Kanye, but I'm gonna listen to the rest of this video. And like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you guys are enjoying this reaction, this analyzation of this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let's watch the rest of this, guys his car the video begins with one woman telling the driver f the mass and then repeatedly coughing at him nice which is not at all surprising if you check out her instagram she is a frequent flyer on airplanes and even in airports appearing maskless time and time again katka said his so i, I want to see that instagram i want to see that instagram this chick let's see that instagram where began sunday afternoon he picked up the three women I want to see that Instagram. So this chick, it's probably one of those type of chicks. Someone's really looking at the screen. She doesn't get that many likes either. So from all like the emojis, anytime you see a bunch of emojis in someone's Instagram, they probably bought their their likes and they probably bought their comments. I noticed that there's a lot of emojis in her stuff. Um, so this chick probably has bought all her stuff. She's trying to get famous uh, for having no personality. Is one woman Instagram. telling the driver F the mass and then repeatedly coughing at him. Nice. Let's see Which is not guys. at all surprising. I don't if want you to see check out face, her though. Instagram, she is a frequent flyer on airplane. Okay, this is the one I wanted to see. Yeah, a bunch of emojis, fire emojis, heart eyes emojis, there's stuff saying vibe, no real actual authentic comments. I want this to make sure that you guys see exactly what social media are doing to the females of today. That's a fake profile. Um, yeah, and she doesn't even have that many likes, it seems like. Five likes, only a thousand. I mean, I mean, uh, five comments, only a thousand likes. Yeah, this chick, this chick definitely lives for the social media. She's the type of chick that wakes up first thing in the morning and check her Instagram. Either she's not running a business, you know, she's not trying to make money from it, she's just trying to get famous or go viral for just being a female, you know? And this is the type of thing that society does to these females, you know? I almost don't want to blame her because it's all about the likes, you know? When you're so protected and you have um, 
such privilege just for being a female. This is what happens to the women. This is exactly what happens to the women. Um, it, it's sad, really. And, you know, most people on Instagram, not all, not all, but but most, uh, most of these females, they, this is what they do. You know, they, it's, it's sad. You know, you can spot a fake profile from a mile away. And that, my friend, is a fake profile. So she's obviously doing this to to get some type of clout. Um, I don't even think the chick was like, I mean, obviously I think she uses it to her advantage from what I'm seeing. I think she uses it to her advantage that she's a female, she can get away with attacking a man. But I think it escalated to the point because she was trying to go famous. I also th I saw another video of her actually recording the dude prior to that. If you guys want me to um, react to that, let me know in the comments below. But there's actually a video of her recording the guy first. So she was recording the guy before any of this even started, by the way. She was already recording, so I think it was kind of planned out that she was going to act a fool. Um, probably because he's foreign and like, oh, you can't really speak English. You know, you know how a lot of Americans are with foreign people. Um, I'm not saying all Americans, but Americans like this. You know, they're like, oh, go back to your country. Speak your own, speak the language here. It's that type of ignorance. So I think that she thought that she could get away with it just because of that. And uh, like I said, Lyft is very biased. Uh, the passenger, they give the passenger a lot of benefits. So uh, I think this was kind of planned. I don't think this was like a just so happened thing. This I mean, this seemed like it was very very planned to me that she was trying to go viral off of this, and she knew that um, if she acted fool, whether it was her footage or the guy's footage, it was going to get her some type of fame or some type of notoriety or some type of you know clout or something like that. And it did work. I'll give her that. It worked, but it did not work in her favor. So let's watch the rest of this. Like I said, guys, don't be this type of chick. Like. A bunch of, like I said, if you guys see a bunch of smiling emo I mean, a bunch of hearts and emojis and stuff like that, it's probably fake, just to be honest with you guys. I've been doing Instagram and social media for a long time, and anyone that has a profile like that is like nine times out of 10, is a fake profile. Like, I don't mean it's a fake profile, I mean they buy their likes, their comments, and all that other crap. They buy all that stuff. So let's watch this. And another thing I wanna say too, a lot of these chicks that be on all these flight planes, all these vacations, uh having all these gucci bags she's probably renting that bag she's probably leasing the bag also um and she's probably not actually even going on a flight in fact there's a lot of women that they'll use a background screen and in it i've seen some amazing uh um you know green screens where you don't even know but a lot of these chicks they'll use like a background screen uh behind them and you don't know that they're actually just in their home um, and I, you can go on Amazon, look at some of these green screen setups. You'll see a lot of these people saying, oh, this worked out pretty well, you know. But so a lot of these chicks aren't even at the airport. I'm not saying that she is or isn't, I can't tell. Um, but a lot of these chicks aren't at the airport. They don't actually own none of the stuff. She's one of those fake, I got money Instagram people. She's an Instagram model. So yeah, you guys know how far that goes. But let's watch the rest of this video. I don't want to talk too long. Let's watch the rest of this and kind of figure out the final thing, what happened. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and even in airports appearing maskless time and time again Katka said his nightmare began sunday her instagram she is a on. I want to that last flyer one. on airplanes I want to that last and one. even in airports appearing maskless all right let's let's see this last one now i know they're talking about the mask stuff like that i'm not talking about the mask i just really want to see what this chick's about i don't i don't care about the political stuff what is this chick about and how it escalates that? that's what i'm trying to figure out now so again let's look at her comments Bunch of heart emojis, girl heart emojis, heart emojis. We have a verified account saying doggy bone. What does that even mean? The whole package. Like, if you look at anyone's real account, they don't have comments like that. This chick has a fake profile. She buys her stuff. And again, a thousand, a thousand comments for what? Or what? It'd be different. She had like a big booty, some big breasts. Cause that's the that's the thing in there, right? If you have big booty, big breasts, and you're dressed all lewd and stuff like that, you'll get a bunch of likes. But this chick has no figure. Um, not attractive. Her hair looks dirty. Probably has dandruff. Small titties. She's you're not gonna get that many likes. It's looking like this, you're not gonna get a bunch of likes. I know she has what is that? Some type of high end product bag or something like that. It, that that does not garner you any type of likes i've been doing instagram for years and i'm telling you guys right now that's a fake profile all right that is a that's definitely a fake profile you know you can you can go to like uh what is it called um fiverr or you can do like telegram groups where they will actually send you likes 
and fake comments. I think it's called Telegram. Um, and anytime you see those verified accounts, just they, they get paid. Those verified accounts get paid big money to, to have those fake comments sent to all these random people. Uh, so definitely, yeah, she, she's definitely buying all her stuff, which is sad, you know, which is really, really sad. Because uh, if she, I don't know, if she just simply had a skill or a talent, she could probably be successful because females are just naturally more successful than men on social media and just in general. So she probably can actually do something, but she's taking the lazy way out, probably renting those bags and buying likes and assaulting Uber drivers. So this is, this is the type of stuff that, uh, this is the society that America breeds these women to be. Let's watch the rest of this. Time and time again, Katka said his nightmare began Sunday afternoon. He picked up the three women in the Bay View on San Bruno Avenue. When he noticed one wasn't wearing a mask, he says he asked her to put one on. He drove to a nearby gas station so she could buy one. But by then, he says the racial slurs and taunting had already begun. He says he was harassed and made fun of because he is a South Asian immigrant. He says after they eventually got out of the car, he said the woman in red pepper. One thing that I do want to say is that realistically, I'm trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be biased and jump on, you know, against this chick just because everyone else is. I want to see this from all angles. Realistically, if she got in the car and she was already talking and there was a virus or whatever, it wouldn't really matter if she bought one or not. If she gets in the car and not have a mask on, he should have stopped it right then and there, respectively. Uh, the fact that he even drove her around and was like, oh, you don't have a mask on? That's kind of, that's kind of whack, personally, in my opinion. If she already got in the car, right, you already allowed her in the car, you're already driving, which um, there's another another video uh, of her already getting in the car, they were already driving a little bit, then personally, I don't think it matters that much. Maybe I'm just too relaxed on the whole thing, but realistically, if she was infected with the C word, and she was already talking and coughing or whatever, right, and he was already driving for a minute or two, which she was, I saw in another video, then it doesn't really matter if she goes and buys a mask. The damage is already done. So that could have ticked it off, but personally, I do believe that this was planned and that she was trying to go viral off of this incident. Let's, uh, let's watch the rest of this. So, he was pepper sprayed? Okay. Sprayed him. Quote, she pepper sprayed the inside of my car from the passenger window that was open a little bit. Wow. That was the only window open in my car, he said. Shockingly, or rather, not shockingly at all. Via Dion Lim's reporting once again, the driver made multiple requests to Uber for cleaning. They offered $20 at first, I'm sorry, then $40, oh then finally $120. Though the driver still says the total is insufficient, which I completely agree with, it is. It is unfathomable though, that this is the treatment people receive for the luxury of any patron having a few clicks and taps on their phones of a cellular device to get them from point A to point B. This man's family is in Nepal. All he's trying to do is support them. Please respect that. That last bit was kind of corny, a little lame, but let's, uh, I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. I'm gonna do it in this format. Um, my final thoughts is that I think this is this was planned by all three of those females. Well, probably not all three, mainly the, the, the Hispanic chick or whatever she is. Um, I think the other two chicks were just didn't respect the guy because he's foreign, it seems like. Um, the guy you can even see right here beside me, he's just like, oh my god, get these, get these hooligans out of my car, you know? I feel kind of bad for the guy, personally, considering that, you know, that could have been me, um, but, like I said, this guy, he sh Uber should pay this guy, and I'm not just saying that, I usually don't go by, oh, they should pay, blah, 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 but this guy should get paid, the simple fact that he didn't kill somebody that day, this man should be paid for that, he should be paid handsomely, alright, he, he should be paid because any other alpha male any other man that has self-respect they would the moon would have been either dead or knocked out period they would have been in a coma realistically no man is going to deal with this you know and i'm really glad he had the patience and he wasn't you know he wasn't me because i couldn't do it I, I straight up couldn't do it i've had incidents where it came close to people trying to do stuff i'm just like you touch me it's done for you you know i love him like that it's all recorded i have a camera in my car i'm just like you touch me it is done for you you can say whatever you want you can talk crap but you touch me, it's done for you, you know? Um, I think one of the things too was that he stopped the car. I think that's probably pissed him off or the chick off mainly. Uh, and I think that the fact that she's like, I gotta buy a mask, but my money, that, that self-entitlement, that arrogance, you buy me a mask then. 
I think that whole thing um, is one of the major factors that made it really pop off. Like I said, I do think this was planned. That's my first one, but part B of it wasn't planned. I think that perhaps it's just the arrogance, the sheer arrogance of her being a female in America. Um, all that power, what are you gonna do? You're about to get beat up. Like they know if you touch us, you're going to jail. So we about to beat your ass. You about to get beat up. That's the type of arrogance. And I think that really needs, needs to change in our society. I feel like if a woman hits you, then you have the right not to beat her up, not to beat her down, not to put her in a coma, you know, but you do have a right to defend yourself and give the chick a good slug in the jaw. Because the thing is, uh, what a lot of these women, they're so surprised when they get hit, when they're beating up on men. There's a bunch of videos where women actually is beating up on men, like busting his nose, like beating him up, right? And the guy's finally like, pow! And the woman, the woman's like, oh my god, I was hit. <laughs> Like that, that's because they just know that you, that you can't hit them legally. I think that whole thing just breeds these terrible individuals. Um, I'm not saying all female, females are like this, but there's a large majority of females that are like this. And um, unfortunately, it's, 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 it's bad, man. You know, it's really sad. But um, personally, my final thoughts is that I really think this guy should be paid by Uber personally. I think that he should at least give ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 just for, just, 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 for the stress of it, right? Just for him keeping his cool, I really think he should be paid for that, personally. Just, he got pepper sprayed in the face, disrespected on camera. Now he's globally known as the guy who got his mask ripped off his face and disrespected. So he should be paid for a couple of things. One, not beating them up. Two, keeping his cool. Three, um, you know, keeping the mask on his face and trying to follow the policy that Uber uh, implements four getting sprayed getting assaulted getting sprayed in the face and five having his car vandalized by hooligans that man should be paid twenty thirty thousand and if, if, if they paid him a hundred thousand I think that's even okay this man should be paid handsomely for what he went through this man should be paid I know I'm not the type of guy to say he should be paid I don't think people should be paid for certain things you know like I don't want people die they always pay the family the family like paying the family doesn't do anything but I feel like people, if they get abused, especially if they're upholding a policy that Uber implements, they should be paid. That's completely different. This man is holding your policy. This man is doing what you asked him to do, you know? And he got assaulted for it. Pay this man. Fix this man's car. Do everything that this guy deserves because he deserves it 100%. Um, that's my final thoughts. This man should be paid those women should go to jail and i don't even think that this woman even went to jail i know that he said that in this video that they're looking for the chick but chances are nothing's gonna happen to the chick i think there's gonna be a trial but at worst she was gonna get parole probably like two years in in jail or prison or some crap like that with parole and she's probably gonna live most of her sentence on parole so with that being said those are my final thoughts the two other hooligans i don't personally think that they should get any jail sentence um i don't feel I mean, they were instigating the situation handsomely, but they didn't put their hands or actually touch this guy. And there's no actual footage of them vandalizing the car. And they were so they were some hype men for sure. Um, I think that they should, you know, get banned from the Uber service and live rush service stuff like that. Um, and hopefully, they can't get jobs. I think that'd be good too. Maybe other companies don't want these these hooligans, these thugs, to um, you know hire them. But as for the, the, the Hispanic female, I think she's, she's Hispanic, at least she should get one of the highest penalties. She should go to jail for at least like, what, four years? It's just to really make her learn with no parole. That would teach her to never do that again. I remember her boyfriend raised her, apparently. Her boyfriend taught her to not take any crap. Um, but yeah, this 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 was completely unnecessary. The guy's 100% in the right. That's my personal opinion. And this chick should get the maximum of whatever uh, whatever the maximum is for this crime that she did, she should get the maximum and this man should be paid. But those are my final thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. It helps out this video get it out in, their app, in the algorithm. And uh, yeah, I was trying to get this video out sooner, guys, but I've been busy. I know I said that in the beginning, but I really have been busy. I really appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. And thanks for watching. Okay.